Rising 275 metres above the famous harbour, Crown Sydney is about to become the city's tallest building. With a striking form and cutting-edge engineering, the 2.2 billion Australian dollar skyscraper quickly emerged as one of the country's most impressive mega-projects. But as the tower topped out and neared completion, the coronavirus pandemic hit the project team with an unprecedented challenge. This is how Sydney's tallest new skyscraper is being completed from home. Rising from a former shipyard, Crown Sydney will be the centrepiece of the city's regenerated Barangaroo district, offering views of the Harbour Bridge and Opera House while dominating the skyline. Also known as One Barangaroo, the 71-storey structure will boast a six-star hotel, VIP casino and 82 high-end apartments, while the ground-level podium will offer shops, cafes and two rooftop infinity pools. Designed by Wilkinson Air and delivered by Bates Smart with structural engineering by Robert Bird Group, the building's curved form is inspired by nature, mimicking three petals that twist and rise together. The result is a slender tower in which every floor plate is unique, clad with over 7,000 individually cut glass panels. Rising to the challenge, engineers built a concrete core surrounded by a steel and concrete superstructure. Raking columns enabled them to achieve the tower's 60-degree twist, while a 200-tonne tuned mass damper on the 70th floor ensures stability in the face of lateral forces like strong winds. But while most of us associate skyscrapers with vertical engineering, the most interesting part of this building actually sits below ground. With the timeline threatened by ground contaminants and a high water table, the team built the tower's basement with the top-down approach. With piles and the ground floor slab in place, works proceeded in two directions. While the skyscraper began to rise above, the basement was steadily excavated beneath, with plant and material moved through an opening in the concrete floor. Despite adding further complexity, the approach cut the project's overall build time by more than 12 months. When it topped out in early 2020, it seemed that Crown Sydney's greatest challenges had been overcome. But few could have predicted what would come next. In the past two weeks, the number of cases of COVID-19 outside China has increased 13-fold. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. And we have called every day for countries to take urgent and aggressive action. With Australia going into lockdown, the project team faced the daunting prospect of completing the tower's complex fit-out from their kitchen tables, coordinating different specifications between the hotel, casino and apartments across 71 unique floor plates, and all in a market where tenants' needs were quickly changing. Thankfully, earlier investments in digital collaboration had put them in a good position. When works first started in 2016, the team had used hand-drawn markups across hundreds of physical documents. But the tower's unique form created an unusually high number of drawings, and after somewhat drowning in their paperwork, a small group of engineers at Robert Bird Group began trialling Bluebeam Review for markups and coordination. Six months later, the entire team was converted, and Sydney's tallest skyscraper became a paperless project. When remote working was imposed in 2020, the team were able to continue communicating in real time through Bluebeam Review, marking up documents, flagging issues, and reviewing comments in a clear and easy to track system, while works continued on site with social distancing measures in place. The tool enabled this complex megaproject to remain on track for completion in late 2020, navigating an unprecedented event without huge levels of disruption. While the pandemic has of course presented a much greater challenge to other major projects and the construction sector globally, similar cases of teams overhauling their approaches with digital technologies can now be seen around the world. 
Across Robert Bird Group alone, Bluebeam Review has become commonplace, taking all kinds of projects down the paperless road, from Australia's Cross River Rail Scheme to the mega-tall Medeca PMB118 in Malaysia, set to become the world's second tallest skyscraper. For Crown Sydney, the impact is clear, and this remarkably complex scheme wouldn't be approaching completion with so few missteps or delays without the use of digital tools. While many of us may not realise the scale of the challenge that remote working has thrown at the construction sector in 2020, the story of Crown Sydney is testament to the power of digital collaboration and the resilience of those men and women tasked with continuing to build our world. This video and the Crown Sydney skyscraper were made possible by Bluebeam. Learn more at the link below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.